Hi, I'm Will Rue. I'm a freshman and business major at Clemson this year. Uh, my student dialogue, I just got done with it, was um, on the 29th of November. It was the um, LGBTQ2, I think, talking about the, you know, the lesbian, gay, where you, whether you, you know, and how that played, I guess, a part with religion. And um, our group, I feel we pretty much maybe achieved the, the true dialogue. It was more, maybe a little bit more focused on religion than in action, than, um, more than like homosexuality, but it, I feel like, you know, we, the, the instructors did a good job keeping us on task of what we were supposed to be talking about. And we, I mean, we basically stayed talking about the same things. Um, the di as far as the dynamics of the groups, there was there was several active voices as it says here and on Blackboard. Um, those people kind of did most of the talking. Couple and then there was three or four I'd say that did most of it, and they did a good job, you know, sharing what they believed. And you know, I guess that comes with you know because a lot of it was experience based, and some people just don't have experience when it comes to homosexuality or you know or just judgment or you know really as it goes far with religion or any of that. Um, so whether more reserved voices in your dialogue, yes, I agree. There was some. Uh, I was probably one of them, just because I didn't really have any experiences with homosexuality, or you know, any, or you know, just being discriminated for with religion or anything like that. Or, I mean, I felt like, my, like you know, they asked that you don't really repeat things, and I feel like some of the things that maybe some people shared early on kind of went along with what I said, so I didn't feel I needed to share. Um, what role did I play? Um, I, I guess played like a, I guess you'd say a, a listener. Uh, did mostly listening, and um, I, I spoke a little bit at the end, but didn't do too much as you know in, in participation. Um, overall, though, I think it's a. Mary asked, "Why do you? Why is the dialogue component of library? It's a component of library 101 because I mean I think it's just you know it's a good experience because one thing I was a little worried about like or not worried but I just thought it was gonna be a real confrontational a lot of people with different opinions, arguing you know over, just you know. Any, anything, you know, anything, but, um, you know, I was glad to see that it was a lot of open-minded people, even, you know, who were just open to listening to what other people believed, and other, you know, there's very, you know, there was no, there was no conflict hardly at all, most people agreed, or not, not I would say agreed, but people were just open-minded and didn't, you know, didn't, weren't, weren't, you know, everyone felt welcome to share. Um, I think, or back to the question, why I think it's a component of Library One, I think it's just, you know, it's a good experience for people to, get a good feel of like who you're going to school with. I didn't know there was, you know, so many people who just I thought I was going with a lot of people who came, you know, from families like me who believe what their parents believe. But there's a lot of, you know, different different backgrounds, different stories, different reasons to why you believe what you believe. And I was I mean, not 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 that anyone everyone believed, you know, what I believed or I necessarily agreed, but it was refreshing. Or just interesting to see what other beliefs are out there and how people form them. Was that was one of my favorite, you know, things about it. Uh, do I see it as a useful tool in my university experience? Um, yes, I. I mean, not. I wouldn't say it's maybe completely necessary, but I think it was. It didn't. It didn't hurt anything. You know, I got to see some people that I haven't. You know, haven't seen or I'll probably never see again on campus, or remember. You know, but I mean, I I know them a little bit better, or just and you get to learn about other people. I, what I think is always beneficial, and it can't can ever hurt. Um. As far as the my beliefs on um, homosexuality and with it was a lot more seen to be focused on religion and I you know I grew up in a Christian Christian family going to church most every Sunday and um I believe mostly what my parents believe and that was seemed to, that was seemed to be what most conversation was about is who believed what where where you know where you found those beliefs and you know how they may have changed or how they are changing or where you see them going and um. Uh, there's a lot of different beliefs. Like a lot, there's a lot of people who so it surprised me were just completely unsure, and um, that was that was um, just new to new to me. That there's a lot of people who just don't know what they believe, and so that was something I learned. But um, as far as my beliefs on homosexuality and whether it was a choice, I feel like that was maybe is kind of how it was supposed to go, or how it played homosexuality played a part in religion. And uh, I mean, I take I believe, you know, what I've been taught is that it is a sin, and, um, and, but I'm not, a, I wouldn't, you know, I, that doesn't mean I have anything against uh, homosexuals or, you know, the lesbian gay community, um, 
I would never tell you, you, you know, anything you do is wrong. Just I've, I may, I may share that I don't agree, but I will never. I'm, I'm fairly accepting of believing your, believe what you believe. But I'm, I will, if you ask, I will share what I believe. Um, that is pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. Um. Uh, yes. So so so. Done. Okay.